Well, hello, and uh, welcome back to Gavin Sonic's B build. Uh, so we finished the tail cone um, as far as it can be finished, and uh, I'm going to turn my attention to the flap actuator. And uh, this is a uh, let me turn the camera and show you. There's a long bar that runs from one side of the aircraft to the other side. And uh, it operates the flaps. They're electric flaps. So we have an electric flap actuator, which is there. And then the actuator bar itself, which goes right the way across the aircraft. It's held in place with some plastic blocks like this. Each block makes a pair like that. And we just pop that in there like that. There we go. That's how it works. Two bolts through it. This bit that's sticking up here is inside the aircraft and uh, attaches to the actuator. The top of the actuator attaches to the um, cross member at the top front of the tail cone. So what are we going to do first? Well, if we go back to the drawing, this is CO5, the flap system. There's a set of uh, instructions, um, sort of a general construction order. And um, we've basically got to fit the flap drive angles. Now these are two pre-made angles and they fit uh, in the bottom corners and wrap around the front and the side um, basically holding the uh, the whole thing rigid so you can see a little bit better there there's the uh, eight rivets holding the side on and there's the six rivets holding the front and there's the general assembly so where do they go well inside here you can just about see it running oh, can't get in there without putting my hand in the way let's try this way there's it running along the side and then across the front there. Okay. So I've basically popped those in. I drilled the holes through and uh, in the front and on the side and I've opened them up to copper Clico size as well. So we've done that on both sides and there they are. And so the next thing to do is to actually get the flap drive in there and look at uh, positioning the plastic bearing blocks. So that's what I'm going to do now. Of course, those of you who've been listening to... Uh, what I've been saying in these videos over the last uh, few days will know that I've forgotten to do something because uh, I can't actually put these blocks in until I have cut the lower cross member to miss the blocks because uh, otherwise it's not going to go together so I've just stripped the front off 
So uh, taken both the uh, vertical Z's off and uh, that means that now the um, lower cross member will come off. Just got a couple of um, clecos holding it on from below. Um, so I'm just going to measure up, mark out where I need to chop out and uh, chop that out. Back soon. Welcome back to Gavin Sonic's B build. Just been, uh, or just spent a couple of hours um, basically installing the flap actuator system. And uh, it comprises of a, of a long bar that goes right the way across the, uh, the fuselage with two uh, actuator arms on the ends. One for the right flap and one for the left flap. And they poke out of the side of the fuselage or the tail cone uh, on each side. And they will have linkages that go to the flaps on the wings. And then internally, we've got some bearing blocks, which are made of plastic and supplied in the kit. One on each, or one pair on each side. And then the flap actuator itself, which is a uh, electromechanical device um, powered by 12 volts and has a feedback pot on it so that you can, uh, if you want to, um, know the position of your flaps. And uh, the only thing really uh, tricky about doing this is actually positioning the holes on the splice plates because the um, the bearing blocks bolt down to the lower splice plates on either side and um, all you have to do is make sure that the bar is in the centre and that it's running in the centre of the cutouts nicely so it doesn't foul and uh, all is good. I had to open out this hole on this side slightly to uh, to allow the um, actuator arm to pass through without uh, ripping the side off but apart from that it was pretty straightforward and uh, it's drilled ready for the bolts and so uh, I'll probably strip all that off now because uh, it's not needed for the next bit but it's good to see it all in place and uh, I've powered it up with a battery and uh, it actually works which is great I am just going to check with Sonics that that is the correct position for flaps fully up I was expecting it to be level with the hole but uh, it isn't, um, so I'll just check with Kerry to make sure that I haven't done something stupid. So there we go. A couple of hours and, uh, and that's in. The, uh, the next task is the turtle deck, um, which... I've got the pieces all together, apart from the skins, which I've got to go out and get now. And uh, just dummied them up in position, just so that I know I've got everything. Everything fits. Um, haven't got to mess about too much. There is one little bit I've got to ease, which is right at the top here. The uh, These flanges on the um, on the front formers need to be cut back so that uh, they don't interfere with the uh, channel that runs down but apart from that everything looks good and uh, quite pleased 
I'm going to follow the instructions on um, F19 for fitting it or fitting the turtle deck. There's some fairly straightforward instructions on how to go about doing it and uh, I'll let you know how it goes. But uh, it doesn't look too complicated. I'm going to need a hand to actually manhandle the sheets up and I might need a pair of steps actually because I've realised that everything's getting a bit high. <laughs> Got to be able to reach up to the top. Um, so that's what I'm up to next. Um, before I do that I'm going to pop the rivets in because I'm pretty happy that everything's good so I'm going to square take all this stuff off the top square everything up pop the rivets in the cross members and um, and then start work on fitting the turtle deck so that's what I've been up to the last day or so more later <laughs>